That's when it's my favorite. It makes your eyes doing good. Does it now? Half price if you buy two. Wow. You again. Is this your store? <laughs> no. My father's. How much? 800 rupees, please. 800 rupees? Okay, okay for you, 550. Incredible. So, does your father usually leave you here alone? No, he's away fighting the devils. Oh. The Indian Army called him up, did they? No, he volunteered. Really? Well, if it was my choice, I wouldn't leave you here alone. All right. That's 300. Bet the deal. 400 rupees plus Ganesh. <laughs> you don't want this. It's broken. See? You don't know the story? Ganesh what Parashuram was standing guard at his father's door. Yes, to defend the honor of his father, Shiva, and got his tusk hacked off for his troubles. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, it's not for sale. <sighs> right on time. Okay, look, 600 rupees. You can keep the change. Hey, wait! You need the guy. Oh? And what'll that cost me? <laughs> My sister needs me. How am I supposed to get at tonight's grocery? I understand your frustration, but the bridge is crossed for curfew. What is My sister needs me. How am I supposed to get at tonight's so, you're Ganesh. How much for it, really? Not for sale. Papa, I'm here. Kate is going to get under it. Excuse me. <clears throat> what? Don't get me wrong. Decent technique on the lift. But I'd like my Ganesh back. Please. <sighs> Fine. A for effort, kid. <sighs> Too many soldiers. Shit. Wait a minute. You're not a tourist. Looks okay to Hello, me. lady. Thank Great you prices. Thank you. We're busy here. Oh, I've already got what I need. Thanks. Do you work for CIA? Because that would be very cool. People aren't allowed across the bridge. It's too dangerous. Listen, kid. It's been really fun. You need to make yourself scarce. I have a spare bed in the store. 300 rupees. Best deal in all of India. Ah. Okay, no thanks. I need to get on this truck. Bad idea. The rebels, they hurt people. Listen. I need to help my friend, okay? Tell you what. When I get back, pizza's on me. Deal? Deal. Good. Shit. <sighs> sir, Wait. sir, oh, please. Oh, God. My dad, we were eating ice cream. I can't find him. I can't get home without him. It's OK. It's OK. What happened? He was standing over there. Wait. There he is. There he is.
bastards. Okay. Red door. That's it. Better than nothing. Here we go. It's just an active war zone. Nothing you can't handle. Hold on. What's your rash? How do I know you're not smuggling something in here? Arms up. Hey. It's dangerous to be out so late. Hey. Where do you live? What are you, deaf? Answer him! I said, where do you live? Arabtazon. I'm in the middle of something. Uh, yes, sir. Meet me inside. Understood. You, with me. Man the gun. Sir, what about her? Just let her through. You heard him. Get going. Lucky for them, I've got somewhere to be. Red door. Check. up at least. <laughs> oh, getting closer. We should get off the streets. Our shift ends in an hour. <sighs> Need sleep. You can sleep in the truck. No, thank you. Is that the last of them? Almost. There's a couple more in the alley. <clears throat> Moving out tonight. Oh, shit. Away. Great time. Tired of these people. No. Asad says one week. Pink Lotus. The hell does that mean? Long enough. I've been with Asif since he was chasing down small things hidden all over India. Join up. <laughs> Tired of these small operations. When do we take the fight to the tyrants? <laughs> what did he find? Do you hear me? Huh? Stop right there! Damn it!
not messing around. two targets. One was the warehouse, the other... You're in the wrong place, girl. What the hell? should relax. You'll live longer. Relax? It took me weeks to track down Asov. The man's as unpredictable as they come. He's just another warmonger with no war to fight. No, you don't know him like I do. He changes location and routines by the hour. We'd be foolish to take unnecessary risks. We? Let's get one thing straight. This is my gig. You want your share? We play by my rules. What's it gonna be? He's the one with the beard. That's the spirit. Hmm. Handsome. If you're into psychopaths. Nobody's perfect. Where's base camp? Top floor balcony. All right. Do this. Had a street route all planned out. But they'll be looking for us now. What do you suggest? I'll think of something. Come on. I'll give you a boost up. <sighs> there you go. Thank you. Follow me. That wasn't so bad. Now what? Patience. Careful on this one. You sure this is safe? No. This way. You realize we're moving away from a soft den. Yeah, we're taking the long way. And I'll see why you're always late. Cobra one to Cobra five. Over. Received Cobra one. Over. Uh, quick work. Well, where to now? Up. Just exploring our options. Sit tight. Well, she's 
certainly lives up to her reputation. Here we go. Oh, shit! No! No! You trying to kill me? Sorry about that. How about we avoid crates from now on? Okay, good deal. Up ahead. Was <laughs> Some cheap office supplies if you want them. You're always this talkative on you. Yeah. This will just take a moment. There's one. Well, that works. Let's find that disc. Thank you very much. Watch our backs, yeah? Yeah. Crossed. It's like walking through an antique shop. He's been a busy boy. How much do you think it's all worth? Enough to keep his little insurrection going for quite some time. Hmm. Indian Christian. Is that it? No, just looking. It doesn't bother you. These are all Indian artifacts. It's not my fight. Hmm. Salah and the tiger. Maybe he's closer than I thought. I'll just borrow this. Fraser, mm -hmm. come here. That looks promising. It's locked. Not for long. What was that map? Western Ghats, Hoysala territory. Shit. No, it's all right. Nothing we didn't already know. And surprise. Ah, ah, careful, brothers. This tiger's got claws. A soft. Oh, all these years. And you haven't aged a day. You too can't. <laughs> Are you looking for work? I hear that shoreline's under new management. Temporary setback. Nothing I can't handle. Of course, of course. Pity though. My men and I could use someone of your caliber. Why are you here? I mean, this... This isn't your area of expertise. It, it is a nice collection, I must say. Chloe Fraser. Collector of antiquities. 
A thief? You're working for a thief. Sir, we have a situation. The disc. Oh, right. About that. At first, I mistook you for just an average rebel. Oh. But you have managed to find the Hoysala Empire. That's not bad. Their greatest treasure. The Tusk of Ganesh. Now that's not an easy find. What are you doing? Three Persian invasions. Three separate wars, and all these years later, no one has found it. We're close. You're lost. And the only chance you have of even narrowing down its location is to find someone who can help you crack this artifact. Someone with an extensive knowledge of Hoysala society. Exactly. Mm. An expert in their culture and history. My rates are reasonable. A parasite who exploits our struggle in order to fatten her pockets. Hmm. So that's a no? Felt like a no. <laughs> You've got balls. I like that. But I don't need any more so-called experts. Shoot them. Throw their bodies in the river. No need. We'll throw ourselves out. Oh, after them! On me! Through the window! Now you're talking! Oh, shit! Come on! We need to get across the river! Messy, but effective. You were going to sell me out, weren't you? It's called improvisation. God, who's being unprofessional now? What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you let Asav get the jump on us. I'm starting to wonder whether you're worth the 50%. I knew it. You were going to give me up. Guess the leopard can't change her spots. You know nothing about me. Fair warning. Last person who betrayed me wound up dead. There's your river. Yeah? And your guy better be there. Shit! Yeah, well, time to go!
we going out there? On schedule. Should hit land in about an hour. Great. The tusk of Ganesh. No wonder the whole solar capital was ransacked. Look at this thing. Any luck? I don't need luck. I'd say we can use all the luck we can get. Are you still hung up on Asav's so-called expert? Don't worry. If Asav's not in the gets already, he'll be right on our heels. Plus, he's got weapons, transports, hundreds of men. Like I said, don't worry. Looks like some kind of key. Maybe. Let's see. Okay. The trident was Ganesha's weapon. The bow and arrow was Parashurama's. And the axe was a gift from Shiva. The great battle. What? The battle in which Ganesh lost his tusk. I bet we find these symbols. We find the tusk. Not bad, Fraser. Yeah, well. You like my dad for that. Hindu myths were his thing. It rubbed off. We must be proud. Sun's almost up. I'll go get ready. Nice work. It's a long way to go to settle an argument. Just for my peace of mind, all right? <laughs> well, nice view. And look. How weird. I'm sorry I doubted you, Chloe. Is her Salah? Hoi Salah. It's not a modern structure, so we're definitely on the right track. What? I don't like it. You don't like anything? No. We've gone nearly a hundred kilometers with no sign of a sov. Glass half full, maybe we got the jump on them. Unlikely. I'll find the tusk. A salve's on you. Understood. Meet you back at the car. Yep. Amazing landscape. on it. I'm fine, by the way. There we go. Okay. You still down there? Yep. Still here. Great. Just checking. Here. Give me your hand. I'm good, actually. Okay. Want me to drive? Nope. I oh, don't mind. I do. It's a control thing. Sure. <sighs> Let's just enjoy the serenity, shall we? Got a dumb question. So much for that. How do you know the tusk is still there? It would have turned up in a museum or something by now, right? Plus, I haven't seen any Hoysala exhibitions. 
I've never even heard of the Hoysala before this job. Yeah, well, that's the fault of their last king, really. Young, reckless, flaunted his empire's wealth, built a new capital to house the Tusk. And then led the Persians right to their doorstep. Hey, look! Flamingo Convention! Refreshing. Ugh. Could have warned me. Oh, where's the fun in that? So, quite nice to be outdoors, isn't it? Away from the city. Quieter. You come back here often? No. Oh, yeah. hey, slow down. Oh, look at this. Hoysala ruins. Can we get through that gate? I'll check it out. <laughs> the old capitals. What have we got? Halabadu and Balur. I thought these were Ganesh and Shiva. Hmm. Someone's been paying attention. Ganesh was the guardian of Halabadu, the newer of the Hoysala capitals. Shiva was the guardian of the former capital, Balur. Well, the stonework is beautiful, but this isn't much of a defensive wall. Mm. Sculptor's quarters, by the look of it. We're still on the outskirts. Didn't take you for an archaeologist. That would be my dad, actually. I'm just a thief, remember? Hey. Hmm. Is the rental equipped with a winch? Looks that way. Oh, great. That'll make short work of these gates. What, you're just going to pull them down? That's the plan. Unless you bought dynamite. This is your gig. Take that as a no. Should do the trick. Razor, oh, move! It's an ambush. Shit! Take cover. Uh, thanks for the heads up. Stop them. Okay. Get clear. You were about to pull down an ancient gate. Yeah, I was. And there we go. You're awfully quiet. I'm just surprised is all. Figured you'd be more of a leave no trace talk when it comes to Indian runes. Sentimentality in this line of work? Get you killed. They're just large flying rodents. Actually, no, they're not. Yeah, they are. They're closer to primates and lemurs. Okay, well, I'll look it up. There we go. Made it. Spotted? Shit. He's brought a whole battalion with him. Might even be more inside already. Hey, I'm flattered that he's taking us so seriously. We need to get through that gate. All right, we'll slow down. We gotta take care of these jokers first. You have a plan? Yeah. Sure. Okay, you're not one for subtlety, are you? Not really. Is so this really your plan? Sort of. You don't like it? Good job!
Like I planned. <laughs> yeah. Figure the mechanism is above the gate. I'll get the gate open. Bring the car round? Sure. Thank you. shotgun. I'm perfectly capable of driving, you know. I'm sure you are, honey. I just prefer to. Wow. It's a lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asab, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from up top. Maybe. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for a soft. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. Don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait. Was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a solve is... We just need to stay the hell away from him. Where are you going? Wanna climb it with me? I really want to, but... Uh, someone should keep watch for Asav's forces. Good call. <laughs> Up and away. So far, so good. Here's our three symbols. Well, that took less time than I expected. Parasharama's bow. Let's see here. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress. Sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. Let's see what's behind the axe door. Another old fortress. Tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map, with an axe. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. Last but not least, the trident doors. 
And another old fortress. Just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. Whoa! Guess I should have looked for a call button before climbing up. Was it worth a climb? And then some. Found the three symbols. Really? Yep. Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect. Never understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose. Sounds more like bullshit to me. How'd you get tangled up with the Sav anyway? Purpose? Rather not go into it. He certainly seemed to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... No. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. Look there. One of Asav's trucks. Looks clear out here. Interesting circular motif. Like the disc. We're definitely in the right place. Should do the trick. Look up there. Parashurama's bow. Matches the symbol in the tower. So, Parashurama. 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 Who was he again? Okay. Six avatar of the god Vishnu. A fearsome warrior. Right. Still wrapping my head around it all. Was. Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. <laughs> nice to be out of that shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. I'd... Hey! Who's there? Ah, Lisa! Don't stop! Keep moving! You boys really don't want me shooting from down here. That's it. We're clear. Probably alert to the others. There, on the mountain! Here come the others! Okay, we're all clear. Where's the last of them? There was a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. Would have preferred a head start over a sob. 
Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. What is it? A shrine? Don't think so. Don't see any deities hanging about. Let's find a way up. Follow me! I see them, but they don't see us. Amazing, all things considered. Secure. Yes, it is. Let's press on. Just what I was going to say. Some kind of mechanism. Here we go. Look, opening that gate. Perfect. That should do it. <laughs> made it! Oh, shit! Whoa! Well, you made it across at least. Damn it. See another way over here? Sit tight. Or stand. Stand tight. Copy that! <laughs> Beg your pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. Oh, there you are, having fun. Impressive. Thanks. Come on. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient horse and jigsaw puzzle? Of course, I'm making the bow. Uh, look at that. Barasharama. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. Think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a night, I know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. Did you hear that? You feel that? Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Fraser, oh. look at that. Oh. 
Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learnt a lot. Hoysalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Hmm. Made a real mess of it. Well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? There's the fort above the waterfalls with the trident. And there's the fort in the mountains sporting the axe. I suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. <laughs> Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. Ah, uh, uh. oh, this is open now. Just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always preferred the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. Watch out. The rebels might be here already. Once more, with the gusto. Hey, look. Shiva's axe. Spotted this on the tower, too. <coughs> Shiva. Who's the god of destruction, right? Yes, but maybe not in the way you're thinking. They're not blowing things up. Definitely not. There. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. 
Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. Well, I'll learn something new today. There'll be a quiz later. In. The water's fine. I mean, don't drink it. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear. I'm smaller than most men. I thought we were talking about your feet. Hmm. Hey, I got you! We can spot it! I'm good. Good. Let's keep moving. Oh, my. What the hell is this? We'll find out soon enough. Okay, let's see what this does. <sighs> that statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. <gasps> oh shit, statue moved again. <sighs> I don't like the looks of this. Coming. Watch out for the axe! Did I get you? No. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Three statues. With two different symbols now. A star and rings. They're all voice in our sons, but I like your descriptions better. Ah! Near miss there! Okay, so far so good. Right, got it. Come on over. 
Nice. Right behind you. Ah. Uh, figured we had one more to go. How did you know that? Everything always comes in threes. Huh? We'll see. Ah, oh. fresh air. Feels good to be outside. Weird smell in there. Death. Smell like death. Earth. I was thinking mildew with all the water. Definitely death. Here we go. Guess this will be a picture of an ex. Good guess. This one's a bit trickier. Nice to see you, Shiva. Right. Let's turn the water on. Whoa, whoa. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Ooh. What? I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Oh, so I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. <sighs> and off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand, on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's... pretty funny. And the last forts nestled above the falls. The one with the trident. Australia. <laughs> Your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. Glad we don't <laughs> have to go back the way we came. <laughs> I would have made you dodge <laughs> the axes. <laughs> Just 
the one by the falls left. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Makes more sense why it solves after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This is... Oh, hold up. Easy. Asov's men have that sight. We've lost them. She who fights and drives away lives to fight another day. All right. And we were talking about... You were saying something about a salve and the tusk? Oh, right. You said just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh, yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like Asav fight over it. It's none of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for Asav? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Ah, uh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. Beautiful there. Well, it's quiet, unspoiled, and I want to see those northern lights. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's on the bucket list, too. You should go when we're done here. Someday. Wait a sec. Might be more guys over there, yeah? <laughs> Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Man. Glad I climbed that tower, eh? Ganesh, remover of obstacles. The gate secured? Not yet. Waiting on Cobra 8. I've got your back. Let's just keep this quiet as long as What the? I can't stop! I think that's a lot of them. You all right? Fine. Just 
thinking of all the ways that could have gone better. See, I'm thinking about how it could have gone worse. Much more positive outlook, sort of. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. Huh. The locks are retracting when I turn the wheels. So then there's probably five in total. Four to go then. How about you? That's two. You. <coughs> Only one left. Last but not least, that should do it. Okay, back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Big wheel thing works. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> There's our faucet. One trident coming up. Oh, what the hell? That's not fair. Hello, sir. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. <laughs> Whoa! Shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. <sighs> Here we go. Let there be water. Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this old treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. 
One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Hmm. My partner tends my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with the bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a Sarv to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought MREs. You're no fun. Fraser, I'm incoming reinforcements. Four by four Figures. We shall see. Hello! this time you handed yourself on all things considered what things are those no real combat training ah slightly impulsive run around the field like a maniac need to learn what short controlled burst means all right and lost wearing red in a jungle combat scenario i mean seriously If you want to look anywhere else out there, now's the time to do it. Right. Look, for what it's worth, it's your kick-ass reputation that got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too rot. Not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Uh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away? 
be done with Shoreline. I was born into it. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice. We've got rebels up ahead. Here we go. Coming. Right behind you. 